Hi there, it's Marianne Tansley from Thrive Admin Services. And in this video, I'm showing you how you can customize the layout of your desktop Outlook setup to help you work more effectively in a way that makes more sense to you and ensures you're able to deal with the emails that actually need your attention and don't get distracted by all of the other noise that lands in our inbox every day. Uh, remember, I am working for this video on the desktop version of Outlook on a Mac and I'm using the new Outlook, so not the classic, which is a little bit more uh, boxed and linear. This is sort of the new one that has the sort of bubble effect. And I'm working in Outlook using Microsoft 365 Business Standard. So if you're working on a PC, on a different device, on the web version, or you have a different version of Outlook, so a, a personal student home version, then some of your layouts may look a little bit different. But a lot of the features that we talk about in the video are suitable across all versions and you can find the options and tools that will make it easier for you. Uh, if you are on a PC, I do have a link in the notes on this video as well that shows you where you can walk through and find all of those settings that I walk through on this video. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to share with you my tips for how you manage your inbox based on how I use mine. So the first thing that we'll notice is that I'm using the new Outlook, not the classic one. So the layout is a little bit different and I'm working on a Mac on the desktop. But in terms of the functionality of your layout itself, it's broken into sort of four key columns really. Uh, you've got this band on the left hand side here, which is where I've got my profiles and this is where I can move from my inbox to my calendar to my contacts and then to to do and notes here as well. But when we're working with just the inbox on the envelope, the second column here, this is where my folders sit and all of my accounts. And this is one of the first things that I wanted to talk to you about is using this favorite section up the top. So think of it like your quick access. Now, if you're anything like me and you love a folder, then I've got lots of folders that are all broken down based on the different clients I'm working with, the different parts of my business that I need to keep information together on. So what I can do here is I can star or favorite my emails so that they appear up here as a quick access. So I might decide I, today I'm going to be working on my accounts and I'm going to deal with uh, perhaps some marketing and I'm going to be working on this particular client. And so now I can close all of this and these are up here as a short so I can drag and drop things into those folders uh, and clean out my inbox. When I've decided I no longer need them as my regular ones, I can simply unstar them and they disappear from here. They've been here the whole time. The link has just been here directly. So it makes it much easier for me instead of scrolling in and out or selecting the move option and trying to find the folders that way. So that's my first tip for managing your inbox. The other thing I love to do is I do use a folder. I love a folder and I keep things in groups. So in my inbox, I've got things broken down into leads, admin, and then the different compartments of my business. And then I will create a folder under each one for any ongoing work. When that work is finished, I will drag it down into my archive or I will save all of the contents of that folder onto a local, uh, an external hard drive so that I have them if I plug them back in and access them like another another drive. So that's how I keep my inbox total files under control. So that's how I manage and use this section. The main section here, this is my view. So this is my current inbox. And by using these folders, what I effectively do is make sure that anything sitting in my actual inbox, which is not too bad at the moment, these are the things that actually need my attention. I either need to reply to these, I need to decide that they need to go somewhere else, or I need to delete them. So these are the things that I still haven't either earmarked in a certain way, moved out of my inbox or um, actioned yet. And I like to have the view set up a certain way as well. So uh, I have this set at what's called the, I think it's called the cozy view. So there's usually, I think there's roomy, cozy and compact. And so Rumi gives you much more, um, you can see a lot more of the email in this section here. Cozy gives me the sub, the who it's from, the subject, and the first line or that little pre-header teaser, and then compact is tighter again. Uh, I also have it set up 
Uh, here I have it, you can see I have the reading pane on, which we'll talk about in a second, but I can stretch and move this from here. I can see when it's arrived and then mine are grouped by today, yesterday, this week, last week, uh, this month and last month. And then usually there's one at the bottom that says older if I haven't actually dealt with anything older than that. From here, I can also move them into the folders. So I can do that directly here. Uh, I can flag them and then I can set and I can mark them for completion uh, or I can remove the flag. I can pin it, which means it will sit above everything else. So I can leave it there as a reminder or if it's something that has some important information that I'll be coming back to all day, I can pin it to the top and of course delete. Uh, once I click on the email, it becomes visible in my reading pane. So I keep the reading pane on, on the right hand side, because it allows me to actually action emails without having to double click and open up extra windows on my, um, on my screens. So from here, I can, any of the actions I take from the top ribbon will affect this particular email that's highlighted. So I can reply to it, type my reply in here and send it off. And it's all done from that window. Uh, I can reply all if it's gone to several people, forward it to someone else, delete it, flag it and set all of the particulars about the flag. I can mark it as unread or read, I can move it to a folder or copy it to a folder, print it, categorize it, share it with teams. And then there are some other add-ins here as well. So I can do a lot from the main window without having to go anywhere else. It, using these tools mean that for me, I can work from left to right and I can see at a glance, if I have these sort of folders that I'm working on, I can move things straight in and then minimize the, the amount of items in my inbox. So have a play. You can uh, in your, so I'm working on the Mac. So I do it from uh, Outlook settings and we go into general. Um, and then we also can go into my emails. So we can set up whether we have message preview or not, which is that extra line. Uh, a sender image, which is that um, if they've got an avatar set up, group headers. So that's where we're grouping them by bits and pieces. The focused inbox. So I don't use the focused inbox and that's where you get things. So that's like letting Microsoft do some of the work for you to determine what is focused and what is other. If we go to other at this stage, there wouldn't be anything in here because it's just been set up. But over time, it recognizes that those are things that perhaps are not as relevant subscriptions, advertising, those sorts of things. Um, emails and conversations. So that's where you get things that will pop up and you'll get this thread effect. Uh, for me, I find that quite confusing, but it may help you manage your inbox better. Um, and to automatically expand a conversation when it's done, you can set some swipe options, which I don't use so much on the desktop. Marking an email as read whenever I change things, uh, downloading images, and then the other one is my reading pane, which does not seem to be on here. Show message preview, blah, blah, blah. And my accounts, okay, response. It's my composing ones. Uh, but managing your um, reading pane, reading pane or set up, usually it might be here. View, here we go, uh, reading pane. So you can have it to the right hand side, you can have it at the bottom or you can have it hidden. So I know some people use it at the bottom. I find that very confusing. So for me, I always have it on the right hand side and depending on the emails, I can move it so that I can view things. I can also use the little hamburger to get rid of this if I don't need my folders, and then I can work much more cleanly in my inbox. So have a play with your inbox and make sure that you've got a layout, whether that's folders, favorites, the way you're viewing your inbox items and the way that you're managing to respond and action emails from the inbox layout or whether you're using conversations and focused um, inboxes so that you can actually make sure that you're dealing with the emails and not getting caught up in trying to find them all the time. So I hope that that's helped you understand some of the features that are available to you in Outlook. Make sure that you have a really good play to find something that makes sense for you. What works for me may not make any sense to how you like to work and it may actually make things more difficult for you. So 
it's important to understand what features are available to you so you can pick and choose the ones that suit you best. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video or you'd like to know more about working with Outlook or Microsoft 365, then I would love to chat to you. You can get in touch with me on any of the socials. You'll find me hanging out on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn under Thrive Admin Services. You can hang out with me over in my free Facebook group, Microsoft Dynamos, or you can get in touch by popping a comment on the video below. I'm always down to chat all things Microsoft 365 and see how I can help you to work smarter with the tools you already have at your fingertips. Have a great day.